Hey there folks, Mark here again on the Culinary Compass. I want to talk to you about dividing up plants. One of the things that I've learned over the years is to not be scared when you're in the garden. I went to cut myself some chives yesterday and as I was cutting them I noticed that my chive plant has gotten way, way, way too big. What I find myself doing is I take the whole plant and I basically will ask myself how many I want to divide it into. So I said for this one, three. So what I'm doing first is I'm kind of pulling apart the plant so I could see what my sizing is going to be. And I figured this is just about right. I got one, I got a second one here, and a third one here. But they're all clustered together very tight. So what I do basically is I spread them into that position. Once I have them spread apart like this and I know, okay, this cluster over here, I want to be one of my clusters, I actually take a simple, small, serrated kitchen knife. So as you can see, I've got this nice, kind of firm set of roots that come together. And in here, there's like a hard mass. So again, I separate it out to see where I want to cut it. And what I'm going to do now is go ahead and cut this. Please don't be horrified out there. All right, listen. So I'm cutting right through and I'm not just destroying these plants. These plants have a mass of roots in here that kind of bind together nice and tight. This method of using the knife, you only can do this with plants that have this kind of a mass of roots that come together that are related to individual types of shoots. Right. So this is a uh, uh, kind of a grass, right? I'm going to separate this out. We've got this divided into basically three different plants the way I'm looking at it. You know, this is scary. When you first do it, you're like thinking you're killing the plants. When you're cutting through this, you're not cutting through all the roots. You're cutting through this incredible mass of roots. So let's just keep going, turning the plant over, cutting down this way. All right, let me go over to this side. Here's my kind of area. Let me cut in this way now. All right, let's see if we can get this thing apart. Ah, oh, not that easy. You're not hurting this plant. This is solid, really solid. And look at all these roots and look at all these shoots waiting to capture the sun. So one plant now is three. Divide, divide, divide. So this looks like those scallions, but this is not. This is uh, from the same family, which is the Allium family. So these are leeks. And when you go ahead to the, to the local garden shop and you get leeks, if you don't start them from seed, you may end up with a little pot that has a whole bunch of them. Um, or you may end up with one of those six packs that are packed up with like 25 leeks in each one. Now this is something you're not gonna cut through. Why? It's a smaller, more delicate plant and you actually want to plant each individual leek. And so for this, you're not going to cut through. You're basically going to start to tease it apart. And as you tease it apart gently, you'll see individual plants, little leek, baby leek plants, just a little gentle shake. So yeah, you're not going to cut every kind of plant when you're dividing it. Um, depending on what you're going to be doing with that plant. Let's go ahead and plant these chives that we just divided up. I got myself my nice bunch of chives. Loosen up your soil. I'm going to give it some room from here to here because remember, it's going to really grow pretty quickly. Next year, these are going to be big clumps. So get this baby in here. I got a couple that are not going to make it, but that's okay. Look at your height. Go ahead and get your soil in here. Pack yourself down. You're good to go. Simple, saves you a lot of money. You get a larger harvest. So that's it for the culinary compass today in the garden. Don't be scared to get a little bit rough with your plants. Ciao for now. Oh, that smells really good.